Hello everyone, I'm Deborah from Deborah Dell's Craft Room. Today I'm going to be painting some more jack-o'-lanterns. A little different style of base coating. I'll be doing three. I hope I can I fit it all in the video. These are the paints that we'll be using for this project. They're acrylic paints from DecoArt. The colors are Red Iron Oxide, Snow White, Pansy Lavender, Spiced Pumpkin, Lamp Black, Burnt Orange, Avocado, Celery Green, Antique Gold, Moon Yellow, and Dazzling Metallics, Emperor's Gold. We'll also be using DuraClear Gloss Varnish when these projects dry. I'll be posting a video at the end of the week with all of my varnished pieces. I'm starting out with a gourd. This is going to be a jack-o'-lantern with a witch hat on. What I've done is I painted it with gesso, two coats. The hat is going to go approximately, it'll be down into the white. That's important to know so that when you do your base coating, you'll know where to stop. Paint. With a spiced pumpkin, you paint from the blossom end up and down, up and down. Don't leave any ridges if you can help it. What you see is happening here is there's streaks and we like those streaks. It makes it look like a real pumpkin. If you go sideways, you'll be able to see the brush strokes. So try to start and finish in the same place. This is easier to do if there's a handle on the pumpkin like this. You can hold on to this while you go around. Some places it'll go on a little thicker, but that's okay because it gives a darker orange effect. make sure that when you do your last stroke in a certain area that it goes from top to bottom. That way if you stopped anywhere it'll take that stop mark out of there. Okay. 
you'll only be doing one coat. Go through and if you see anything that doesn't look right, like a brush mark anywhere, or a brush started, fix it. Okay, can you see how that looks? A thing of beauty and a joy forever. Make sure you have a place to set it down that it doesn't pull any paint off. I have my little toothpick rack here that my husband made. I have two others that I already started. I sketched in the eyes, triangled with rounded edges. I sketched in the nose, a little pointier on the edges than the eyes, and I drew in the mouth, which is pretty similar to, to the eyes. Then I drew two circles for the cheeks. Paint the eyes black and the mouth, as you can see. I painted the nose pansy lavender. You could paint it green or, I like celery green noses. And then I painted the cheeks burnt orange. I have another, it's a little cannonball. And I made two circles. I started with the nose, I drew the nose. And then I put circles next to it. I used a little template and then I drew the mouth in, fussed around with that for a little bit to make it symmetrical. And then I drew the head on. I started at the very center and I made a scoop line. And then I made another scoop on each side, working side to side, another scoop. And then in the back, I made the final scoop. This is the witch hat. This is a small one because the uh, top of the cannonball gourd was very small. But I like this idea. I had to peg in a, a stem. You see? No, I glued it because it didn't have a stem. While the first gourd dries, we're going to start working on these gourds. First, I'm going to start out lining. There's very little lining in these uh, projects because of all the black. You make, you get some black paint and you put some water in it to make it an ink-like consistency. And you twirl your brush around. And the only thing we have to line on this gourd is the nose. If you're going to make a mistake on this lining, try to make it on the inside instead of the outside because it's a little hard to touch up the orange because of the streaking.
Next, get your pencil and draw a circle around about a sixteenth of an inch away from the edge of the black circle. This is going to be the whites of his eyes. Okay, you see those lines on the eyes? Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a bunch of teeth. I'm drawing a line about a sixteenth of an inch away from the edge of the mouth. And then I'm going to draw teeth. Try it this way. We're going to have to touch up the black in between the teeth because of the graphite that's in there. This, this jack-o-lantern has a lot of teeth. Let's see how it looks so far. Okay. I'm going to skip a tooth here. Yeah. And I'm going to skip a tooth over here. You can do as many teeth as you like. You don't have to do this many teeth. And I think where I skipped a tooth, I'm going to put a tooth at the bottom to fill in that space the other way. Okay, there's the teeth. They're in. Uh, with a now with your four white. flat brush and white paint, paint the eyes and the teeth.
teeth and the whites of the eyes will need a second coat. Okay, let this dry and after it's dry we'll touch up the teeth and around the eyes with some black. Here we go with this gourd now. Pick the side you like. And we're going to make this one into a whimsical pumpkin instead of a retro vintage pumpkin. I got the front here and I'm let me make sure it's the front. Here it is. Okay. And I'm going to draw an oval like I did on that little pumpkin in my two pumpkins video. There's the uh, nose. And I'm going to do the eyes a little different on this one. I'm not going to connect them to the nose. I'm going to put them off to the side and make some ovals off in the side. It'll just because any out. pumpkin you paint can be any one of these faces. So far, let me see if I can, there we go. Pumpkin eyes on each side. I wasn't sure how I was going to do this pumpkin until I picked it up. Where is it? There it is. Okay. We'll wait on the mouth so that we don't smudge up the graphite from the pencil while we're painting the eyes and the nose. I'm use my number four flat again and and paint. Nose on. It's a little wonky, as usual. Then I'm going to paint the eyes. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw this hat. What you do, you look from top to bottom, you find the center, you set it down, and below the orange line, you draw a little scallop. See that? Yeah, there you go. Make it come up a little bit so it, when you put the next ones on, it's got a little indentation there. Okay, there's one. Now, over here. You draw another. And then on this side, you look to the other side and you see where you want the scallop to end, how wide you want it. See if it's, this one wasn't down far enough. Thankfully black covers everything. Okay. And I'll be doing some adjusting I can see here right now. Now, put another scallop in the back on each side. Okay. 
You see that? Try to make them the same if you can. It's very difficult sometimes. And then there should be space left for one scallop in the back. It can be down farther than the one in the front because it'll be like the head is tipped, is set back farther on this pumpkin's head. Okay. The hat is drawn. I'm going to look down on it here, see what I see. Adjust if, if necessary. Okay, there's the hat. Okay, now we're going to paint the hat black. If you want to paint it a purple color, that would be fine too. Or green or, you know, whatever color you like. But I'm going to paint mine black. And I'm going to follow the lines around carefully, following the scallop lines. one. Pretty simple, these long lines. We're going to be adding a stem to this because there's no stem. And I have to find one that fits in my little container of gourd stems. Okay, the hat is painted. Okay, I touched up the teeth second coated everything. I started painting this eye wrong, of course. So um, we're going to start from here. What I did, I'm going to have this pumpkin looking to the side. So I struck a line here. You see that? Can you see that line? There. So like a little moon here. And I'm doing it on both sides. And what I'm going to do, I started painting this one black, which was not the color I wanted, so I'm going to paint it celery green. It'll cover the mistake I made. I'm going to paint the whole eye over here. But of course, leave that little ridge around the edge so it looks like it's been lined. I would have done this earlier with uh, just painting a little bit of the eye white, but I didn't know what kind of eyes I was going to put on yet, so I did the whole painted the whole thing white. So far, this is what they look like. While we're waiting for these eyes to dry, I'm going to switch over to another pumpkin. I'm going to put a little tiny smiley mouth on this pumpkin. I just think it'll be cute. Of course, we're going to paint the whole mouth black.
painted the corners first with a little detail brush. And now with my number four flat, I am going to paint the rest of the mouth. Okay, the mouth is painted. Now I'm going to work on the eyes. I'm going to do the same thing I did to that last one with the eyes looking to the side. Can you see that line there? Okay. Now on this one here. my number four flat I'm going to go around and paint the moon shape white leaving that little edge so it looks like it's been lined There's one. We're going to be fixing that where I painted over into the black area, but not yet. Now, do the same thing over here, leaving that little gap. We'll have to put two coats on, possibly three. These eyes. these done. I'm going to put a tooth in as while well, I'm at it, but I'm only going to put one tooth in this one because it looks kind of juvenile, like maybe a toddler. So toddlers have one tooth, some of them. We'll have to put a, another coat or two on that as well. Now we're going to line the nose. We'll get this one all ready for shading before I set it down and go to another pumpkin. We're lining around the pumpkin's nose. We have the black paint mixed with water for that ink-like consistency that we like. Makes it easier to line. I did make one little mistake near the uh, side of the nose on the orange side. I'm going to get my a little detail brush in just the tiniest bit of paint to touch that up. I think we can put the second coat on the uh, eyes <clears throat> and the tooth. Okay. I'm gonna let them dry for just a minute. Check on my little cannonball pumpkin because I only thing left to do on here before the shading is the pupil. Okay, I'm drawing the pupil in now. See? This is a pretty simple eye. Now, paint the pupil black.
Okay, this one's all base coated. We'll come back to it to shade in a little while. And we're gonna do the same kind of eyes on this one, except for there'll be no iris on this one. Okay, this gourd is all base coated and ready to shade. So I'm going to go to my third gourd now. This gourd here has a little different kind of an eye. And I'm going to get some, where is that color? I'm going to get some antique gold. I drew some lines in the bottom of the eyes and the mouth. Let me see. I'm going to paint that area antique gold. We'll have to go over it a few times because the antique gold needs more coats to cover the black. We're also going to be leaving that area that makes it look like the eye was lined. And now the mouth. Okay, we have to let that dry, and I'm going to line the nose while we're waiting. The nose is lined. Now the next time you see me, I will be finishing up, I don't know how many coats of this antique gold, so it's a solid color. Okay, I had to put three coats of the antique gold to make it solid. I could still probably use another one, but we're going to be shading on there. so it'll make the greenness of it disappear. We're going to start with this cute little fella. I'm going to do an assembly line and we'll do one step on each of the gourds. The first thing we're going to do is shade Green all nose. of the noses. It needs to be shaded with avocado. I got some new water so the shading is nice and clean. Put your brush in the water, touch it down, Touch the avocado paint and shade. let that dry for a minute so when I go around here and catch up over here it doesn't pull the paint away. This is going to be shaded with black.
Okay, I'm going to let this dry for a minute and shade this purple nose with black as well. Back to the toddler pumpkin. Now we'll do the bottom. There you go. There you go. The nose is all shaded. All right. Next thing we're going to do with red iron oxide is shade both of these witch hats. You can go right up onto the hat because there's going to be some place you're going to have to touch up anyway, so you may as well touch up the whole thing. Just makes it easier. Okay, this hat is shaded. It needs a lot of touching up. Okay, two shaded hats. Now we're going to shade the cheeks on this purple nose gourd. And we're going to use a russet. Go around the edges. One cheek is done.
little thicker at the top of the cheek. Okay, next we're going to shade the eyes, the nose, and the mouth on all of these gourds. This guy is shaded. He needs a lot of touching up, but he's shaded. Okay, now all of the pumpkins are shaded around their eyes, noses, and mouths. They still need touching up, but this pumpkin here needs some more red iron oxide than the others, and we're gonna shade this at the bottom of that antique gold. We'll shade with the red iron oxide also. Okay, now with moon yellow, we're going to shade the other side of those eyes. Okay, now the mouth at the bottom. Okay, now the final step of these eyes is you thin out some white paint and with your liner you just put a nice little line and there you go see how that looks everything everything is shaded except the eyes on this little cannonball pumpkin which I'm going to shade with avocado. Tiny, tiny bit of paint because it's a tiny area. Okay. Now I'm going to do all of the touch-up work. All three pumpkins are touched up, shaded, and ready to finish. The first thing we're going to do to all these pumpkins is put eyelashes and eyebrows on. I'm putting the eyelashes on the bottom of this pumpkin. Three short little eyelashes. Okay. 
Now I'm going to put some at the top. Okay. Now we're doing our little baby. down a little bit on this one because there wasn't a lot of room because of the hat. Now the eyelashes. I'm going to put these on the side. This one, I'm going to put the eyebrows way up high, kind of a big curve. Now, I'm trying to decide where to put the eyelashes. Okay, I think I have it figured out. Now I'm going to put some on the bottom too. Okay. I see I have not shaded the teeth yet. I have moon yellow here. I should have done this before the touch-up. We'll wait for these to dry so I can put another layer of a different color up above it. Okay. I am shading the very top of these teeth with antique gold. I did one of my pieces the other day and the teeth looked like candy corn because I did orange at the top. If you want to do that to this, you feel free to do that.
go with those. And a little plain. We're going to use the pink. Getting down to the wire here. I think that looks beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to do the highlights for the eyes, the noses if it needs it. Okay. I'm going to, because we're going to make lines instead of dip dots on this one, you want to get your paint. Nice and thin, inky, and draw a line. This one, draw a line. This one's a little low, I'm going to bring it up a little. Now with the nose, we're going to do one, one line, down the nose. We're going to do the same thing we did on the other eyes. See, this to me is when the gourd comes alive. In this, we're going to put a dot and then pull across. Okay. Now the last one. We're going to start with the nose. Put a line on the nose. We're going to put the lines on the same side as the nose on every triangle. Okay, here's another one. Another. two more, the cheeks. Cheek. Okay. We have to put some dip dots around the hat to dress it up a little. I have some dazzling Italics, Emperor's Gold, and I'm going to put one of these in every single point of the hat. Now, in the center, between the two points, another one. This is a way of spacing so that you don't have uneven spacing. Okay, now we're going to put one more dip dot between every pair of dip dots here. Dip and then dot each time, otherwise some of your dots will be smaller than the one next to it.
Okay. There's your hat. Now we're going to do the hat on this one as well. Now in between these, now instead of putting one in between each two. We're going to put two in between. I'm going to put one here and one here. They'll be spaced nice. They won't be too far apart. Okay, equally spaced, none of them jammed up next to another. I feel like this pumpkin here needs something else. So I'm going to put those little smile lines at the end of the, just a small one. Oh, there you go. That makes a difference. Okay. There we go. Now oh, that's cute. I'm getting the stem ready for the gourd that doesn't have a stem. I have the bottom of the stem right here. I'm going to drill a hole in it, not too far, just enough to keep the toothpick secure. There's that. I'm going to break this toothpick because we want the uh, we want the fat end of the toothpick, not the point, to go into this to go into this uh, stem. Put a little glue. There we go, and now I'm going to paint it black while we're waiting for those dip dots to dry. Make sure you get the end of it. My friend used to gather up every gourd stem that she could find <laughs> to give them to me. She's the one that started me painting gourds. I never even knew a gourd dried until she gave me a gourd to paint for her.
what a nice stem looks. I had a bunch of stems, but most of them were too big. This one was perfect. Okay. One, two, three. When I make three in a row of these dots, I don't reload the the brush back. Now, I'm going to put one on the eyes between the two sets of eyelashes. And I think that's it for him. This gourd right here, I'm going to put one, two, three dots around the eye. One, two, three, and that's it for this one. You don't want to put too many on because then it'll look cluttered up. one on the top of each eye. Don't know if I like it. Maybe I don't. And down here, one at the bottom. One, two, three. Yeah, it's okay. One, two, three. I'm going to put them across the nose too. One, but I want them, I'm going to have to dip each time because I'm starting in the center and I'm going on each side. And you don't want one on one side to be smaller than one on the other. Let's see. I think I'm going to put five there because three doesn't look right to me. Okay. Nope, still don't like it. Alright, that's okay, I guess. Okay, there you go. Maybe not. Here we go, one more here. One more here. I don't know if I would recommend this style of so many so many dots on the face of this one but if you like it of course do it but if I had this to do over again I would just put the ones underneath the eyes and forget the rest of them Okay, one, two, three. I fixed the face on this pumpkin. I just couldn't stand those dots, so I scraped them off, made the nose bigger, and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was an all day project. My husband had to be quiet all day. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you'll be notified of future videos. Thank you so much for staying with me for this long, long video.